Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey if you're new. Today's video is going to be a little quick one about this. I say quick. I always try and make quick videos but <laughs> okay so this is the Revolution X or Revolution in collaboration with Patricia Bright and this is one of her face palettes. She did four face palettes and two eyeshadow palettes I think correct me if I'm wrong and I did not know about these. I have no idea why. I must have been under a rock before Christmas but I didn't know that these were a thing and I love Revolution products so yeah I was in my local Superdrug and I seen it and I passed on the eyeshadow palette for now but I really wanted to try this little face palette because I'm always wanting a little face palette that has stuff in it that you know like all three things in it so that I can take it with me wherever I go so if I'm going on holiday or that I can take it with me so this one is there's four shades I believe and this one is in Moonlight Glow which I think is the lightest there was only three in my super drug though for some reason basically it's got a blusher it's got a bronzer slash contour and it's got a highlight so it's a great little and it's got a nice wee mirror in it as well it's got a really nice sort of big size mirror or decent you know decent quality mirror none of these kind of warped weird looking things and it's in like a sort of tin case I'll put on the screen how much it was and we'll just kind of get on with it because you don't like faff there's no point in faffing about so I always do my bronzer slash contour slash whatever first so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm taking the GH06 because this is my favorite for everything on my face and I'm gonna take some of that don't mind if it looks like I have blush on already I was testing out a sort of cream blush formula and that's just from that if you want to see it I'll link it up here for you if it's up so So I'm hoping this isn't going to apply like kind of splotchy or anything like that because of that product being underneath it. Because we'll see up here, won't we? So I like this brush. I need to get another one because I like this brush because it has like a really, you've got to watch because it is sloped so you don't want to be blended back and forth that way. Sideways is okay but the other way I'll make it skip. And um, it just deposits like really slowly you know you can put like a really nice soft amount of whatever you're using on you don't have to worry about going too crazy straight away it's quite forgiving I mean it maybe looks a little bit iffy around my cheeks but like I say it could be grabbing well I don't know in the mirror it kind of looks fine actually when I look in the viewfinder it looks a little bit choppy but in the mirror it looks great. If you want to see this eye look, I am absolutely living for it right now. If you want to see it, I'll be on my TikTok because I did not film it for my channel. I just did a TikTok video for it. And I used the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Okay, faffing too much. Okay, I like that. I really like that. I just realised that I haven't actually um, swatched this for you guys. Don't mind my hand, it is like really stained from that other video, like I said. These are insanely soft feeling, so that is the swatches there. I mean like, they feel almost creamy. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. They are so, so soft to the touch. If you're in anywhere, feel this, like touch it, go in, swatch it, because that feels amazing. Okay, so we're gonna just make sure there's nothing left on my brush, because like I said, I use this brush for almost anything, anything, everything. So I, I'm gonna pick up the blush. The blush quite a lot comes off, and it is a little bit fallouty in the pen. Okay, that's, there's, a, there's a lot of payoff on that blush. Like you only need to dip in the tiniest amount. I really like the shade. Maybe not for this look. It's a wee bit peachy for this look, I would say. You know, with the purple on the eyes and that. But, yeah, the blush is definitely more, um, what's the word? There's definitely more kickback in the pan with the blush than there is the contour. 
So I've kind of over exaggerated it so you can really see. I wouldn't normally wear my blush that intense, I don't think. Maybe it just looks intense because it's with this look and it's not really like the best suited sort of colour combo. I'm going to grab my little highlighter brush that I use all the time. This is with the GH09 and I'm going to go into the highlighter shade. It looks to me like it's quite a neutral shade. That it's not like pink and it's not gold. It just looks somewhere in the middle, a little bit icy. weird it's coming off almost is that me it might be because it's on top of the blush but to me it looks very like it's got a purple hue to it I mean I didn't see that no it's definitely because it's on top of the blush that's weird because it is a very very really really light sort of champagne colour. Yeah, um, just just as the light catches it, it could just be my eyes, but just as the light catches it, it kind of looks almost purple. That's weird. Okay, it does what it says on the tin, no pun intended, it is in a tin. Um, <laughs> so not funny. Okay, so yeah, I can live with that. I quite like that. It worked just as well as anything, I would say. There's no splotchiness, it's a really nice shade match. I would say that it will work for quite fair skin tones. I'm sort of medium just now, just because I'm using my tan motor and stuff like that. Um, but it's it's really easy to work with. It's, you know, it's really quite smooth, it's nice and soft, it's not overly pigmented. I would say be careful with the blush, the blush is really quite pigmented. Normally I would really like a blush like that when I'm wearing a warm eye, but Today I decided to go pink and purple, don't know why, just wanted to play. Um, but normally I would wear like a warm brown smoky eye or like a warm brown halo eye. You get the idea, warm browns. Or even like just browns in general. And a peachy blush like that would go really well with those sort of warmer tones. Whereas a peachy blush with the purple eye kind of clashes a little bit. So yeah, I mean... I'll put on, uh, if I haven't already, I'll put on the screen how much it was. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can see if you would like to go and have a look and see if you want to buy it. It probably is an affiliate link because I am affiliated with Revolution. I obviously bought this with my own money. It is an unbiased review. I don't always like everything that I get from Revolution, but usually for the price and for how many hits I get, versus misses I really like the company so yeah I think that is pretty much it if you enjoyed this video obviously I would love if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video bye